Hi, my name is Rory. I make travel videos similar to this one, and this is going to be a tourist guide on things you should and shouldn't do at Cardiff. So jumping into point number one, be careful of the GWR train service. They're often delayed, cancelled, often a train like this one going right in through Bristol, Bath and Cardiff will have only two coaches and that's a massive issue when you consider how crowded the station is. So be careful of the trains. The platforms are often overcrowded just for one train. Anyway, here we are pulling into Cardiff, and let's get started with the video. I hope you enjoy, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. Often in Cardiff it rains, and the taxis don't accept card, or Apple Pay, or whatever you use, they only accept cash. So that's quite a big issue, and just be aware of that, that you should probably call an Uber, or something else. Today our first place out of three that we're going to is Cardiff Castle. It's a great place to go, there's lots of fun stuff and it's reasonably cheap. There's a cafe, museum and the grounds. We had a fun time and it's definitely one of the best places to go in Cardiff. This is TechniQuest. It's a science centre just out of the main area of Cardiff. It does take about a 20 minute walk, but we couldn't book a taxi because they only accept cash. The tickets are reasonably priced, but beware that this only appeals to a certain kind of audience. Anyone over 10 will probably not enjoy it that much. I am over 10, so it wasn't the funnest, but it was still really cool and I think the younger kids would enjoy it a lot. There is a prep right by the train station, this can be very useful for if you want to get some food. And here we go, on to number three. This is Cardiff Pier, it's a really nice place to go to and I recommend if you're visiting Cardiff, this is one of the top attractions. There's lots of fun stuff to do and though we didn't do much, it was definitely a very scenic and nice place. The last thing that I want to point out is that the naming system on the platforms is really confusing. There'll be 2A and 2B both on the same platform and the same track and the trains will be placed at different ends of the same platform or track. It's really confusing, you don't know as well where to go, you don't know which side of the platform it will be on. And just to add to the confusion, the person who we asked as we were in a rush to make the train told us the wrong platform number. If we had been confused for another two minutes, we would have missed the train. 